Welcome to episode one of Curious About, where I tell you all about what I learned off the internet that I was curious about. I'm not an expert, but I, I know how to read, so that's good, right? <laughs> Today, I'm curious about tetrachromats. I first heard about tetrachromats when listening to a Radiolab podcast called Colors. What is tetrachromacy. Tetrachromats, aka color mutants, aka my spirit animals, can be one, only women, and two, most likely our creatives, our painters, our filmmakers, artists, interior designers, but more about that later. But like, why only women? Isn't that like sexist or something? And no, no, no. Because see, the chromatic gene lies on the X chromosome. Men have an X and a Y chromosome, and Marco! What do, what do we gotta do? Can you chill out? <laughs> but like, why only women? Isn't that like sexist or something? And no, no, no. Because see, the chromatic gene actually lies on the X chromosome. So women have an X and an X, and then a man is an X and a Y. The man actually has twice the chance of being colorblind because they literally have half the chance of having a chromatic gene. Women, on the other hand, have the potential. <laughs> what do you want? Are you literally, you're doing this on purpose. She's smiling at me. <sighs> Circle of life. Here you go, Marshall. Hey, hey, don't jump on her. And children. Sleep? I'm gonna throw a bunch of treats in there. Go get a treat! <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Women have twice the chance of having a chromatic gene, while men have twice the chance of being colorblind because they only have half the chance of having a chromatic gene. Sorry, men, we get this one. Some of us. Some of us get this, some of us get this one. Very small percentage of us get this one. 15% of all women are actually born with this additional chromatic gene. And not all of those women can actually see millions of more colors, but we'll get to that. Contrary to logical belief, this gene doesn't double your number of receptors. In fact, it actually adds a fourth receptor. No way, get out of here. Get out of town. That's not logical, but it's cool. <laughs> Stick with me here. This is where it gets a little more sciencey. Every cone has a bunch of molecules called opsins. These opsins absorb some wavelengths of light and then send electrical currents to the brain to actually be able to interpret what wavelength the opsin is actually collecting, absorbing, so to speak. <laughs> Opsin molecules usually vary between three types of cones, and each one of these cones will absorb a different wavelength, right? So like if this opsin and, and this wavelength, you know, this one only absorbs this one, and this one only absorbs this one, and this one only absorbs this one, so... That's just plain silly. Science, you know, it's good. They're like penguins when they give each other rocks and they stick with each other forever, that's an opsin and a a light wavelength on the visible spectrum, if that makes sense. Good? Kind of? A little bit? Here's where it gets a little, uh, ethereal, if you will. These cones are just gauging what wavelengths of light we are actually seeing. The experience of color is our brain simply registering the information. Hey, what color is this? It's orange. Close your eyes and then open them. Look at the towel and dad. Hey, 
happy birthday to you. <laughs> With our eyes now, baby. Can you, what colors you see? Those. You see colors now. <laughs> now you have rose-colored glasses, baby. <laughs> flowers in the house. like way hey, hey, hundreds of millions of more colors than the people with just the three cones you know because that's one two three versus one two three four it's like if you add yellow into a spectrum that's only red green and blue suddenly you're able to see variants of the green and the yellow and the red and the yellow and the blue and the yellow that you never saw before because you didn't have the cone that possessed the opposite molecules that actually saw on that wavelength it's insane <laughs> Our normal wavelength as human beings is between 400 and 700 nanometers, as you can see here on this beautiful chart. Now, if you're a bee, you can see UV rays, which are actually at the bottom of the chart at 380 nanometers, and radio waves are way above 700, so you like, you don't, you can't see radio waves. Sorry. I know you want to. Okay, so... Studies kind of differ about how many women are actually born with this gene, but for the majority, these studies said that about 12 to 15% of all women are born with this extra chromatic gene, but being born with it doesn't mean you know what to do with it. See what, you know what I mean? No, that one didn't read? So the fourth cone, for some reason, is almost like a muscle. So to all my ladies out there, if you don't use it, it just chills. It literally does nothing. It doesn't do anything. If you don't utilize your ability to see color and you have that gene, you won't be able to see. It's not like it's just given to you. Like you have to actually actively use the cone to be able to see those colors. It's fantastic. It's like it's like a tongue or playing piano. Like practice makes perfect. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Well, okay, practice makes. I, I'm not saying that trichromats are. Are, are not like just perfect in their own right. Like I want to be a tetrachromat. I want to use it. So get out there and use it. You know, who wants to live a trichromat life? Marshall! Stop it! <laughs> who actually is tetrachromatic? According to my research so far. Oh good. Oh good. Yeah, sure. Come on in, Drew. We're not shooting a video about science. <laughs> Sorry. Hey Drew, what color am I wearing? What do you mean? I mean, I'm pretty trying. That's a pretty direct question, right? White and what Because he's a man. Pink lipstick? <laughs> it's an orange pink. Touch chromats, you see what I'm talking about? So, so far through all of my research, I've only found one actual case of a tetrachromat that could see millions of more colors. Now, most of these studies claim that, so if 15% of all women actually have that additional chromatic gene, only 3% of that 15% actually utilize their additional colors. I only found one actual case that was named and studied and I felt proven enough to talk about. And that's an artist in San Diego named Conchita. Conchita Antico. Conchita Antico. She's a tetrachromat artist and oil painter, and she's been painting the majority of her life, and her story is just incredible. Do you want to go to San Diego? I want to meet this woman. We're going to paint together. That'd be really fun, because I'm pretty sure I'm tetrachromatic. Pretty sure. They say, yes, they, that is them, that is 
to forever remain unnamed. They say that, I can't believe I got that, but they say that if you have an additional receptor is if you use color every single day in your life. If you're a painter, an interior designer, a filmmaker, you have to actually use the gifts you are given for them to get stronger. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Like, it makes sense. The more you do stuff, the better and stronger they become, right? Like, duh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, not die. I love you. <laughs> when I first heard about tetrachromacy, when I was, you know, going for a hike on Runyon Canyon, pretending I enjoyed working out, you know, I thought, man, I'm... I must be a tetrachromat. I, I absolutely must be because what I see every single day is so beautiful and so bright and so colorful. I absolutely must be a tetrachromat. So I actually tried to get in contact with one of the professors named during the podcast so, you know, he could test my DNA or something and I've never heard back, but... Drew, will you do something about this? No. <laughs> Why are you even here? To bring wine and eat food. Okay. <laughs> Online tests are pretty much irrelevant because you don't... A computer doesn't possess... What is the actual wording? Computer screens... Okay. Computer screens don't actually possess enough color information to be able to tap into the gifts that tetrachromats actually possess. Uh, so any online test you take to see if you're tetrachromatic, and I know after that uh, white, gold, blue, black dress controversy. Oh, there's back in blue. Shut up! Wait a minute. Close to fist being blue. Oh, this one is black and blue. I see a little bit of gold, That's though. That's black and blue. I see it's a little bit of gold. That's black and blue. To me, that looks exactly the same color as a back of Kathy Sue's phone. Yeah. No, yeah. This, this, what? Are you this kidding blue me? This blue is like really close to like my... It's like the same phone. What color is this? I see like a brown one. That's this color. It's the same color. I see black and blue. Oh, it's like black and blue. Black and blue. A lot of people were trying to see if they were tetrachromats. You can't do an online test for tetrachromacy. I'm so sorry. Your DNA has to be tested and it has to be in person uh, with a different type of test. I read about a light test uh, in person and a swatch test that one professor did with one woman that he thought was tetrachromatic. Um, so maybe find that guy. I know I'm looking for him. <laughs> So I don't know about you, but I'm still very curious about tetrachromacy. So if you guys look it up and you have any interesting facts, please put them in the comments below so we can learn and grow together and it'll be fantastic. And if you know a teacher or a doctor that's willing to test my DNA, let me know. I'll send them a lock of hair, a stack of fingernail clippings, some spit. I don't know. I'll do it because I'm so very clearly a color mutant like Avi, right? Avi. <laughs> Continue to be curious, check your sources, read articles from multiple sources, make sure you're hearing multiple voices about this, whatever topic you might be curious about. And I want to encourage you to do a lot of research and to learn about the things that you are curious about. Are there other things that you're curious about? Please let me know in the comments and let's learn about them together. How does that sound? Good? 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 good. Yeah? I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I rose. I had it. I had it that time. Sure. <laughs> You're just judging your picky toes. <laughs>